strive to help you build better. Welcome to Benjamin Obdike's Test House. Today we're going to be installing HydroGap Drainable House Wrap and integrate a window with our new HydroFlash UV Plus. So with this install, we chalk the control line so we can get a nice horizontal row. And then we're going to install with mechanically fastened staples, whether it be a T50 3/8 staple or our cap fasteners. We want to make sure they're fastened every three square feet or about 16 inches on the perimeter. So as we move up to our next course, we have our four inch overlap on our horizontal. We're going to end up with a six inch overlap on our vertical. And wherever we have an outside or inside corner, we want to go 12 inches around. So now we have our second course on, and we recommend that you do not use horizontal seam tape. We want to make sure that water can get down and out of the system as quick as possible. However, the vertical seams are optional for seam tape. And our next step would be to cut the roof opening out of the window. And with this step, we're going to be using the cutback method, where we're actually going to be exposing about two inches of the sheathing around the perimeter of the rough opening in order to integrate our flashing. So now we have the sheathing exposed about two inches around the rough opening. And our next step will be to integrate our HydroFlash UV Plus, starting at the sill and then working our way up to prevent any reverse flash. So this is gonna allow any of the moisture to get down and out of the system as quick as possible. So our next step is we're going to install HydroFlash UV on the sill. And we're gonna incorporate that with two different options. So we can either cut a bow tie out of the flashing material, or we can install our hydro corners to make sure that we have the most protection in that sill treatment. One of the quick little tips for installing any flashing tape, particularly our hydro flash, is if you fold the corner back on the release liner and you squeeze and you pull back, you'll start the, the release liner. This really helps to make things a little quicker and easier in the field. We do have a split release. So when installing a hydro flash, we want to make sure that we're applying proper pressure on the surface at the time of installation. Our next step would be to install our hydro corners, and then we will put another piece of flashing tape to finish the sill. Now that our sill treatment is finished, our next step would be to install sealant on the three sides of the window, the top and the two verticals, leaving the bottom open or skip sealed in order to let any moisture escape. So now that we have the window installed, we're going to be installing our hydro flash directly to the hydro gap as well as the sheathing and the nailing fin. This is going to help to compartmentalize the window, creating a great water and air seal. Flashing is done around the window, compartmentalized to the sheathing as well as the hydro gap. And we installed our flashing tape to the top of the window. And then we're going to flap down the hydro gap and install a, another piece of flashing over top of the relief cup.
So HydroGap can also be installed in any direction. Because of the unique pattern, it's omnidirectional. So we can go right up the gable end and still get that positive drainage to getting moisture down and out. Please visit our website for more information. Thank you for joining us at Benjamin Obdike's Test House, where we strive to help you build better.